What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So as you can see here, we are missing some Mustang parts. So we got a new, uh, new spoiler installed and a new hood installed. I'll give you a peep at that right now. Alrighty, that's enough. But as you might have saw right over here in front of the car, we have something else that is going on to complete this build. Yes, that is a GT500 bumper. So we're gonna be doing a GT500 conversion front end bumper on this car. This is a Comset bumper, so it is plastic, it's not fiberglass. The hood, however, is fiberglass. So you can see that there. It's the Cobra R hood. So yes, we're gonna be going Cobra R hood with a GT500 front bumper, GT500 rear wing, and then pretty much this car's done, ladies and gentlemen, besides the fact that we ordered a Pro Charger and that will be here in five weeks from today. So we'll probably be installed in six or seven weeks, but this car is practically done at that point. So we gotta head over to Blade's shop. We're gonna have him paint this. He's gonna knock it out for it this week. We got the baby coming this week. That's super exciting. Um, let's see, what else here? Uh, what else, what else, what else? We've got the rest of the GT500 bumper in the back of the truck. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and hop on the road and head over to Blade Shop. Alrighty, so we made it down to Blades. Now we're gonna get this stuff unloaded, see Blades' opinion, get, uh, kind of get everything, all the fine details worked out. So first thing first is I brought a piece from the car so that he can match when he goes to sprays the color. This is one from the car specifically, so he doesn't have to worry about having the car here to match it. And then we've got the GT500 bumper here as well as the stuff inside. Of course, every time we try and do anything, the Utah weather doesn't obey with us. So we're dealing with a little bit of wind. It looks like it might rain or storm, who knows. So we'll get these inside and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do next with this weather. Okay, so now we've gotta go ahead. So we've got everything brought in. We've got Blade here. Blade, give us a quick rundown of who you are and what you do. I'm Blade Manning. I do paint and body work, primarily custom cars and restorations. I can do a little bit of everything, so. Blade's who we're gonna be trusting with this. Blade does all sorts of custom builds. He's got a few custom builds in here that he's doing, and the work that he does is his top of the line. He had a car that was, you took it to SEMA, or was going, gonna go to SEMA? SEMA Young Guns, what it was called. It's like a little competition that if you win, you, they take your car to SEMA. It's for builders 27 and under. So I'll link that video right here if you guys wanna see it and see more of his work in, in one of the highlight builds that he did for his cars or one of his cars. With that being said, we gotta go ahead and figure out now what color scheme we're gonna do on the bumper. So we're gonna do gloss black on the bottom here, gloss black here, gloss black on the honeycombs, but I can't decide if I wanna do paint matched for the housing of the, the turn signals or if I'm gonna do black. So we're gonna hurry and decide that real quick and then we'll get out of Blade's hair so he can do what he do and we'll see you back at the house. And we made it back to the house. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, find out what projects we have to do now. I got a baby's appointment today and I gotta see what else I need to do for the Mustang before we get that bumper back from Blade. So we are going to... Two weeks. Alrighty, little girl, let's get you on the scale and see if you got her weight. Three point four five kilograms. Perfect. Pretty girl weighed seven point six pounds. She's up eleven percent from birth weight, which is great. Um, eyes are looking beautiful as ever, and time to get her home. Oh, she's gained two inches too. Two inches, yep, that's right. She's 21 inches long now. Bum, bum. So all that we have left to do is get this hood aligned, but since we're gonna be doing new bumper and everything, I'm gonna wait to line it up because it doesn't really make sense to line that up with that when we're gonna be taking that off. So now I gotta get this thing listed and get this thing sold. So Got a little swing, a little uh, Fisher Price swing. Cool tell, us, tell us what this thing's about, Sam. I don't know, it's highly rated on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is too, uh, kind of No, a like, lot of people say they like it, but... So this is, while she's this small, um, to hold her and entertain her while Sam's maybe cooking or doing something in the kitchen. Yeah, I feel bad when I just leave her laying on the ground or something. She actually sits up a little bit after she eats, and so she's not going to choke. She's so sweet. She had her first bath this morning in the bathtub. How was it? She loved it. Loved She's it. been pretty cool with everything that we've done, huh? Yeah. Okay, well, got everything unloaded. Now, it's going to take quite a while to put this bumper together. I, I put like one piece on and I'm already getting too excited. So, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to move the truck out of the way. I'm going to flip the car around so that I can work over here and have my tools right here. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get this hood popped open. We're gonna take off the factory bumper. We're gonna see what we need to take off the factory bumper and take over there. It came with everything I need and I did order those uh, extra set of fog lights, or not fog lights, uh, turn signals. However, looking at it, I don't think they sent me the right one. So I may have to be taking the stock ones off. So first things first, we're gonna get the bumper off and see what needs to be switched over. Okay, so first thing is we're gonna remove the radiator cover there to get access to these bolts, which we took this piece off here. See ya. And we're getting one step closer to putting that on. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the three push pins at the bottom of the bumper so that we can get this side to come out. All right, so we got all the bolts out of the top. We got the 15 bolts out of the bottom. We got the two nuts off of each side that connect the fender to the bumper. So now I'm gonna go ahead and break this side loose and I should just be able to lift it straight off in theory. Here. Okay, now the bumper is detached. So this one looks like it's coming out, and this one. Now I'll just lift it out of the way. Voila! Wow, look at that. Just like that, and then we're gonna snap it in place. All right, so down below you'll see real quick. So I've already done the top honeycomb part, and the bottom one's open, so that. You can see this right here. So we had to have these taken apart so that this get, get painted black while this got painted white. So now we're gonna go ahead and you'll see down here. So you can see there's nothing here. So we're gonna put this in there to really kind of just add some character to this front end. So this is gonna come and go right here so that it gives it just that little bit of extra character. The honeycombs are all in. I'll show you real quick what it looks like with all the honeycombs in, in the corners, the fog lights. It, it's really just looking good. So. We're going to wrap this up and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so now we're going to attempt to put the bumper on. Oh, yeah. Alrighty guys, so we got the bumper put on. It looks incredible. Let us know what you think of it down in the comments below. Like I said, we still have to do some fine tuning adjusting right here, but it's seven o'clock and there's a meet at eight o'clock for a little boy locally who actually committed suicide. So we're gonna take the vehicles out and we're gonna take the car and we're gonna take the truck and we're gonna go show our support. Ladies and so gentlemen, this is like a movie, but my truck is rolling right next to us and man, could it look any better. It looks incredible! Like, what?! So, we're headed over to the meet, and yeah, uh, this is gonna be legendary. Taking both the whips. Hey, no I catch and go, crazy Joe. I'm I'm Check it out, we made it out, Jose, to our first truck meet. Well, when I say our first truck meet, I mean your first truck meet. I come out quite a bit to these things. Um, so like I said, this truck meet is for a special purpose. So we brought the truck out, we brought the car out, and you know what? I really enjoy coming to truck meets. Like I, at one point, I was the young kid who looked at a truck just like this and said, hey, one day I'm, I I'm just gonna own a truck like that. And well, you know, fast forward like 10, 15 years later, here we are, we have a truck just like that. Not only that, but we brought the Mustang out too. And I know it's a truck meet, but these are like my two favorite things. So to have them both in the same place, have Sam and the baby and Jose here, that to me is like, honestly the best thing that a man could ask for. So um, I'll kind of show you guys around just a little bit. I wish that my wheel lights were working. I got the black 
the the black I got the black spike lugs on with the American Force morph wheels and it looks incredible I can't wait to put on the other LEDs by rocket side by side those are coming very very soon but I want to know what do you guys think of the bumper on the car I mean it looks really good at night it looks incredible well the mall cop and uh, you know other friends have come to kick us out so we had to move locations but look who showed up if you guys remember the not the last vlog but the second to last vlog you guys remember Carson Carson's my nephew and he brought out his Chevy Malibu so if you want to you can follow his YouTube channel he has a series where he's gonna be rebuilding this car I'm holding you accountable to this say yes yeah if you guys want to see his channel I'll drop the link right here on the screen so you guys can follow his channel Carson give us a quick rundown what can we expect to see on there so I bought the car it was sitting in the field it's been sitting there for five years I put it in the tires put new front tires on it. I did a cut and buff on the paint. I cleaned the interior really well. Did new plugs, uh, carburetor rebuild, just stuff like that. Simple stuff. Got it running. Okay, so if you guys want to see more right here on the screen, actually, no, right, right here, link on the screen. You guys can check out his full build. Look at this car. How was 48 years old? 40, 48 years old. 48 years old. And driven, how old are you? It's uh, 18. I just just turned 18. He said it. Seven, uh, 18. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'll let you do the rest. If you guys want to see more, click the link right here, but let's get back to the video. Straight to jail. First truck meet. First truck meet. And she's just snoozing away. Yeah, it stinks. You guys remember Blade from earlier in the vlog? Hey guys. We got his truck right here. And just look at how fat that thing is. Quick rundown, what you got here? Uh, it's S467 turbo, it's deep speed manifold, 50% over injectors, stroker CP3, filled trans. Should be seven to 800 horse. Ah, oh, that's what we like right here. That's what we like. Came out to the good old truck meet. Yeah, we're all dirty. Nobody really had planned to come out to this, but you know what? It is what it is. Yeah, it's fun. gentlemen is why we can't hear out of either of these ears neither one of them can we hear anything and it's from stuff like that <laughs> all right well this is getting a little crazy so we're gonna take Sam and the baby back to the house and we still got projects to do on the ranch, which I promise at some point in this vlog we're gonna get to, probably tomorrow morning. Probably tomorrow morning. We'll catch you then. 